It's your boy Michael and in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up authentication on Next.js with Clerk Auth. I am telling you guys I am a Clerk Auth maxi because I don't believe in waste, wasting time um, in things that have already been perfected and built for me, right? I know the Rust devs are like, no, you should build your own custom authentication, but I'm just trying to build amazing products, right? So Clerk has done an amazing job of setting up uh, an easy way for us developers to set up authentication. No, I am not sponsored. I need to be though. Um, I just really love the product and I hope you guys see the fresh cut. I hope you see the lineup, you see the fade. But without further ado, I wanna show you how fast it is. So let's get directly into it. So I have my terminal here. I'm gonna do MPX create react. Uh, I was gonna say react app. Next app, we're gonna call it uh, clerk auth, all right? So we're going to let that run. Do I want TypeScript? Yes. ESLint? Yes. Tailwind? Yes. Source directory? No. App router? Yes. Okay, and we go. All right. We'll let this build out for a second. All right, perfect. Our app has been built. Let's CD into it. Let's open it up on VS Code. Perfect. So now we have our VS Code ready to go. App router, pages. Let's do a quick uh, yarn dev. And then we shall see perfect. So everything's set up. Let's just delete these uh, unnecessary tailwind stuff. Now, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to clerk.com, uh, sign up, enter your email and all that stuff. I don't want to show you guys. I don't want to have to edit out that part, but super easy to sign up. And then once you do, you're going to get to the dashboard. So we're going to create a new application together. So I'm going to click new. I'm going to call this clerk auth so i want email google I have github microsoft they have all these different providers right so i'll just do google for simplicity sake so this is our sign in i'll click create application it'll start cooking and perfect now i have my environment variable so i'm going to go back to my vs code we're going to create a dot env dot local and then we're just going to copy this right here go back to vs code and paste that right here. So we're doing Next.js. If you want to do React, Remix, all that other jazz, there it is. Now what we're going to do is we're going to continue in the docs. And again, super simple setup. So this is the Next.js quick start guide. Now here's a couple packages we have to download. So first we're going to download clerk slash Next.js. So let's close this. We're installing that. And then it tells you set up your environment variables, which we did. And now it says add clerk provider to your app. So we're using we're doing the app router here. So I can do this directly in the layout and it still be a server component, which is great. So let's go back here. Let's yarn dev. I'll make my terminal bigger so you guys can see. Now we're going to go to layout.tsx. We're going to import clerk provider. And then we're going to wrap Clark provide. We're going to wrap our whole app with Clark provider. Let's do that here and then close that here. So we are perfectly Clark has been provided. So let's keep going down. And now it says now that Clark is installed, mounted in your app, you can decide which pages are public and which should require authentication to access. So this is where Clark. I am telling you shines. It says create a middleware TS file in the root of your project or in your source directory. We're not using source directory. In your middleware TS, export clerk's auth middleware helper. So let's go back to clerk. We're going to create a new file. Call it middleware.ts. Okay. And then it says import auth middleware, which we shall import it. Fantastic. And then we're going to export default auth middleware. Again, we shall. And this is fantastic. So now it says with auth middleware authentication, uh, with auth middleware authentication will be enabled by default on all routes that your Next.js middleware runs on, blocking access to all signed out users. You can specify valid routes using Next.js's matcher. Add the following code to your middleware TS to protect your entire application. So this is again where it shines. So I'm just going to copy all of this and let's go to VS Code and I'm just going to paste it here. So I'm just going to remove this right here. So you see this array here where it says public routes. So any route that you specify here will uh, are routes that can be accessed by people who have not signed in. 
right? So for example, let's say, can I remove this and just have it be empty? Let's see what happens here. So let's say I go to my local host, not 3001, let's do 3000. I can't even access my local host. And here's the reason why the homepage, the reason why is in public routes, I haven't specified that even the homepage is to be accessed. This is how powerful the middleware is. So if I put back the slash, which should indicate my homepage and I refresh, actually, no, I should go to localhost 3000 again, uh, 3001, localhost 3000. Beautiful. We have nothing there because I removed the code, but just to show you that this is actually working, we'll do... We'll do p tag hello world what a basic beginner so there you go see now you have access to it this is how powerful the middleware is let's create a page right now call it mike dash pages page tsx let's do react functional component and call it mike so and then now what we're going to do is let's go to our local host and a slash mike it will require authentication because of this middleware right here. Because it's not in public routes, it cannot be accessed. Now, so if I added comma slash Mike and we went back to my local host, 3000 slash Mike, there you have it. So let's see if there's any more setup left. So let's just try accessing your app. Okay, so we have authentication, uh, like our mid uh, we have clerk set up, we have the middleware set up, now the components. So this is where I'm like, again, it saves time. You can customize these, but if I wanna ship quick, I just want plug and play uh, when it comes to my authentication. So they have a user button component, which is a pre-built component that allows users to log in, log out, and manage their account information. So we're literally simply just going to go to our Next.js app. I'm going to call this, just for the sake of simplicity, um, user slash page.tsx. And then plug this in here. I'll call this user, um, yep. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our Next.js app. And then if I if I go to user, first of all, it won't let me access it because it's not protected. Because it, because it's protected, sorry. So let me sign in. And as you can see, you see this image right here. When I click on it, I can click manage account and look all of this with ease, with simplicity. Now there's a couple other components that um, I don't think in the quick start they show you. Um, but I want to show you guys. So we're going to go to learn more here. So let's work on our sign up uh, and sign in pages. So it tells you here to build up, build your own sign up page. You're going to have to create in the app router this URL path. So sign up this right here and then page.tsx. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this. We're going to go to our VS code, right? And then we can have like a a special thing called auth here now if you have brackets it's just if you have brackets on the folder in the app router it's more of an organization thing it's not an actual path so just for organization sake i'll have that there and then i'll just paste oops it did not copy it let's go back to the docs this is what i wanted to copy so i'll do copy here let's go back to our vs code i paste and voila it's all created so tells me to create this path and then just copy this code. So it's just import sign up. So we're going to do that, import sign up, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our docs and then we'll do the same thing for sign in. I'll just show you guys how easy this is. Um, we're going to do sign in, just copy that, go back to our docs, copy this code, Paste it right here. Again, this is just the sign-in component that they've already pre-built. Now we have to add some environment variables. So we're going to copy this, right? And then go to env.local, env paste this. We're going to go back to our docs. And now let's visit these pages. So now let's go to sign in. Would you look at that? A very nice, clean, like if you pay a little extra shekels, you can get that removed or you can build your own custom one. Um, they have it in the docs, but I just stick with uh, Clark. So I can continue with Google. 
select whatever email I have, and now I'm signed in. And the proof of that is if I go to slash user, my account information here shows. And then let's say um, I'm going to log out here, sign out here. I can, you see here, here it says no sign up, no account. You can sign up, or I can even show you guys even better. Let me go back to localhost. If I have sign dash up, Again, it'll tell me to create an account. I could do email and password. Now, there's one thing I do want to show you. On the clerk dashboard, you can go on your dashboard after you signed up, click on user authentication, and then you can specify what type of authentication you could you want to do. You could do email verification code, email verification link, and it's literally as simple as just flipping it on and then hitting apply changes. So very, very simple. You could do social connections. You could do MetaMask. There's some enterprise stuff. Um, Web hooks also like for, uh, you know, storing stuff in your database when someone signs up, creates a user, um, all that uh, information, all that to set up on Clerk is so, so simple. And that's why on my last video that a lot of you guys really enjoyed, I really appreciate the support. If we go on my GitHub, my GitHub, let's go to my Next.js starter template. That Thank you for everyone. 24 stars. Thank you. For everyone who's checked it out, hopefully you guys are building something cool. Let me know in the comments if you are. If you see here, so I use Clerk on my next uh, JS uh, on my next JS starter template. So let me just show you how easy to sign in, sign out. So I'm already logged in. Um, I have a drop down here where if I click profile, I can see all my account information here. Right, very simple, very nice. I should probably blur all this stuff. I can easily log out. So when I click the log out button, it brings me to the sign in page right if i don't have an account i could click sign up again very simple very easy so setting up authentication with clerk won't take you more than 10 minutes people building custom authentication processes and using next auth and spending an hour two hours waste of time build your applications build your products move quick use clerk clerk if you see this please sponsor me before i blow up and the price goes up Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. Again, I'll have all the links in the description down below. Hopefully, you see how easy and simple it is to set up authentication with Clerk. I just wanted to go through it quickly, not do a step-by-step -step type with me because I know you guys can follow the docs and do it yourselves easily. But I appreciate all the love and the support. Please make sure to subscribe because a lot of you aren't. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Thank you for all the support, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.